Joel, thank you so much for doing this interview, my friend. Um, you've got an incredible show that's going to be on CBC. And when people talk about, uh, you know, just fighting for your life and fighting for respect and fighting for honor, this is a show that has all of those and more. I should hope so. If we pull it off, yes, that those will be the messages we'll be uh, putting across. But, uh, yeah, you know, I have done a lot of fighting. I come from fighting and violence, and I've obviously I've read a lot about it. And one of the things since we started actually writing the show that has constantly come up is that boxing is more or less fighting for your life. That's If that's your job, you're fighting for your life. So that's been a real interesting thing really interesting aspects of it you know talk a little bit about the character and what he's going through um to because he's making a comeback so my character donnie little dog ross um went pro in his early 30s and soon thereafter had an opportunity um at an open belt the uh super welterweight championship national the belt opened up for, for different reasons that all come out throughout the telling of our first season. He walked out of that fight, mid-fight, and uh, effectively dumped a very promising career down the drain. And he's been having to live with the disgrace of that decision ever since. And his family has been living in the shadow of that shame as well. And um, now, in the present day, um, he gets an opportunity to make a very, very unlikely return to the ring to, to, for a rematch with that same old fighter, his rival. How, where did you base the story from? I mean, is this a lot of you? Is this um, somebody that you know? Because in and itself, even if you took away the box, and it sounds like a lot of people who are going through things in trying to find that redemption. Yeah, we should hope that it's universal. I mean, boxing is a great metaphor for for that sort of thing. But uh, there is a lot of me in the role, a lot of my own personal story. I I'll, Listen, I, I do other things. I write books. I make movies and stuff. I, I generally like to talk about uh, what's important to me and the stories from my own backyard. Um, so there's a lot of me. It's fairly autobiographical in some ways, and then in other ways, it's just me wanting to play a boxer as well, and uh, which is a dream role, really. Um, but I should hope that people people can relate to it outside of mm, the sports world for sure, you know. And we know we talked about this earlier too, man. The training. What kind of training are you going to have to go through with this? I'm doing a lot of uh, physical. I mean. You know, I'm a fairly light guy anyway, so I just have to regulate myself for the most part. But when, at the end of this month now, I'm going to be back in Newfoundland and training with a former uh, professional boxer. Um, and he's going to train me as if i got a fight coming up. Seems to be the best way to do it, you know. So first day of camera is fight day. Gonna, it sounds like it's going to be something really incredible. When are we going to get a chance to see this? Well, we're going to camera uh, mid-August 2017 uh, and um, run until I think we're shooting for six or seven weeks. and supposed to air during the Olympics in 2018, but I don't know the exact uh, broadcast date. It sounds like told not to say if we know the broadcast they don't say it <laughs> they announce that right that's okay look man we're just giving people a little bit of a sneak peek anyways when they should just be aware when it's all gonna be happening look congratulations on the new show man looking forward to it and thank you for the interview thanks very much for having me appreciate it